here we use the technique we used before in our lecture 6 part C we used it yeah. recursion tree using recursion tree so let's use it another time yeah. all right <clears throat> this is our recurrence relation yeah. here we consider the general case so n not necessary two to the kth power so not necessary so any positive integer yeah so here greater than two yeah so we can calculate it yeah. all right recursion tree method so this method is very useful yeah. so many times we can use this method to find a solution yeah so let's try it another time our goal t of n estimate this function t of n this is our goal yeah. because we are given this recurrence equation so we need to use it to draw a recursion tree so how do we draw it okay so we draw in this way let's take the right hand side of the recurrence relation you can see there are two parts one term non recursion term yeah another the recursion term so we use to draw the tree so when we draw the tree we draw this way the non-recursion term we put here yeah because in this root level t of n we need to pay this much cost then we can go down to solve two smaller sub problems when we go down another level we need to pay non-recursion cost here and then recursion cost at a lower level so things like this okay so let me draw another level of the recursion tree so we pay non-recursion cost okay then recursion right so for recursion problem we need to solve at this level okay yeah so here for the method like this it is hard to solve it in rigorous math so the way we're doing here it's another not not a rigorous math way so here you can see yeah because for the rigorous math way many places you need to consider if n is a multiple of two multiple of four you need to consider a lot of things so that is very hard to estimate so that's why we draw this tree in a approximate way so not a precise way approximate way And this approximate much easier than, you know, rigorous math deductions. Yeah. So in computer science, we do this kind of estimate uh, quite often. Yeah. Accumulate cost for all levels. Now, how much is the cost? We accumulate the cost for all the levels. Yeah. So if we write in this way so you can see each level we have some cost right each level we have some cost so we accumulate all the cost okay yeah so let me do a chart in this way we make another assumption n equals power of two first then we go to the general case yeah all right 
Level 0, that's the root level, the cost is n. Level 1, we add these two numbers, we get also get n. Level 2, we add these four numbers, we also get n, and so on. So you can see all the levels, we get the same total non-recursion cost. But the question is, how many levels do you have? All right? So, and at the bottom, yeah, because t of n over, so the bottom, that's t of 1. So all of them, t of 1, they are all 0 based on the base case. Okay? All 0. So we, we don't have anything at the bottom level. Nothing. Yeah. So at the level k, the cost is 0. Okay? Yeah. So when we accumulate all the cost, the cost of all levels, we only have k levels. So now the answer, the estimate, the estimate is pretty straightforward. Yeah. Because from n equals 2 to the kth power, k equals log base 2 of n. Okay. So the total we can write in terms of n, n times log of n. That's the special case. So that's not a general case. So we need to extend it to the general case. Okay. All right. So we need to do a little more work. Yeah. But we are very close. Okay. Yeah. All right. Extend it to the general case. For any integer n greater than 2, yeah. there exists an integer k. So you can see we do this kind of thing many, many times, such that n is in this range. Only one side there is an equal sign. The other side, no equal sign. Okay? Yeah. So you can sometimes we put an equal sign this side, Sometimes we put equal sign that side. Okay? Yeah. We draw the recursion tree in this way. Okay? Yeah. But you can see the fraction we use at the bottom level between one half and one. Okay? Between one half and one. That means the cost of the bottom level all zero. Right? So the cost, total cost, all zero. Okay? Yeah. All together. And each level, we also know the cost is n. Each level, the cost is n. All right? Including, you know, the last also. So we accumulate. How many n's do we have? In this case, k plus 1 times n. Okay? Yeah. And the k we can estimate. Okay? From this inequality, we can estimate k. So k plus 1, you know, less than log, log here, log base 2, plus 1. Okay? Because 1 can be ignored, right? When we look at the dominant term, we don't need to look at this one, right? So the dominant term, the growth function, the dominant term, the growth function, this is the growth function, n times log of n, the growth function. Now, so now, this is the result for the general case. That is not for the power of 2 case. That is the result for the general case. So finally, we get a sort algorithm with this worst case performance. Remember? So we are doing the, on the worst case. So the worst case performance 
this good. You can see, as good as this one. Yeah. So we're pretty satisfied. Not the average case. Worst case is in this level, this category. We are pretty satisfied. Definitely the average case, you know, can only be better than this. Yeah. Yeah. But we will see, you know, the average case also in this level. Yeah. Actually, the best case also in this category. Average case, best case, worst case, all in this category. Okay? Yeah. All right. But as a summary, we need to look at the divide and conquer specifically for the merge sort. Divide step. Let's look at divide step. Split the original array evenly into two subarrays. That step is trivial. Yeah. Conquer recursion. Yeah. Not much to do, just recursion. Combine step. This is our main step for the merge sort. Okay, the merge step. So, device step, low cost. How low? Big theta of one constant. Automatic recursion. Yeah, so here we do not use any expression for this step. Our recursion tree, we did that. The recursion tree we did in the previous slide contains this part. Okay? So yeah, we consider it. Yeah. Combined step, the merged relatively high cost. How high it is? Big theta of k. k, yeah. The two subarray, the size of each of the two subarrays, yeah, big theta of k. So now you can see, so this whole thing, this is the property for the merge sort. For different sorting algorithm, when we use divide and conquer, yeah, I mean, divide and conquer based sorting solutions, yeah, they have different properties. So the merge sort has the property like this. Next part, part B, we will learn the quick sort. The properties will be different. All right. So that's the, so we complete this topic, the merge sort topic, and a part of one. Uh, so we complete it. And also uh, this video number four for today's class. All right, so let me stop it.